This you might recognize. This is the sword called Orchrist, which is the sword of Thorin Oakenshield in The Hobbit. Um, a long time ago, I started making a wooden version, a life-size wooden version. And this is all I've got done in a very long time. It's semi-sharp. Anyway, one day, I'll probably finish that, but uh, for now, I think I want to try one, try making a miniature one, like this size, out of metal. I've got some steel here, and I think I'm going to, rather than forge it, I'll just fabricate it here. So. I'm going to trace this on here. We'll use the angle grinder to grind it out. And uh, and then I'll just grind it to shape. So that's going to be the plan um, for this handle right here. Um, it's supposed to be a dragon tooth. Uh, I have some cool antlers that my brother gave me. So I think this uh, will probably work just fine for the handle. Point, I've got it cut out and uh, roughly ground basically to deburr it and when I lay this on it's just a little bit too large so I've gone through and I've traced the areas that I need to remove like the back right here and all along the edge Let's see if I can get an angle there you go you can see the black line so I need to grind it until I don't see any more black on that um, this is not an ideal tang, but this is not going to be a performance sword anyway. It's a decoration, so uh, that's all we're going to use is a little peg. That way I can drill a hole in the antler and just insert it. So that's, that's the plan. Next step, grind the profile. And once we do that, then I will draw on the blade line so I know where I need to sharpen it along here. to go ahead and cut out the handle so using my paper there I've drawn a line of where it should be and I'm gonna cut it right here on the uh, the bandsaw I'm gonna make sure I wear breathing protection because uh, bone and antler uh, is very dangerous for you if you inhale the dust so uh, I want to make sure I'm not doing that um, so I'm gonna go ahead and cut this off and then I will uh, take it over to the sander and kind of sand it to shape uh, because it is just a little bit too wide up here and then I will um, drill the hole in the center for the tank. I'm going to 
to try something new. And that is, I'm going to cut out the shape with this steel. This is the same steel that I used for the blade. I'm going to cut out the cross guard shape and weld it together. So I'm actually going to have uh, five different pieces. Um, I'm going to have this inner piece right here. Then I'm going to cut out then the outer piece, this piece right here, that I'll cut out for each side. And then there will be a piece in the center that goes along the, the blade right here. Anyway, I'm going to cut out those shapes, weld them together, um, and then grind them more into a perfect shape. Um, clean up my welds and stuff like that. So basically, I'm, I'm filling in gaps with welding. Um, my welding skills are very not great yet. They're getting better. But uh, i got to practice some more, so I expect it to be ugly. But I'll just keep grinding until I get it right. So um, I guess the next step is to trace the pieces onto this with a Sharpie, and then I'll cut them out with the angle grinder um, and prepare them for welding. Okay, I've grinded these out. You can see I'm not quite to the lines, um, but they're still tacked together. You can see the three layers here. So this middle one I'm going to cut so that the blade can slide in between. Got all the pieces cut out, and this is the way that it goes together. These three in the middle, then one of these on each side. And so the center one, I need to cut out so that this can fit in it. So I'll cut that apart, then I will weld the pieces together and finish grinding. welds are getting better but they're pretty darn ugly um, but now it's time to clean them clean it all up and then I'll be able to grind to shape. I need to polish it and clean it and engrave it. But let's try it on the blade, see how it works. Okay, there we go. 